Hi YouTube, it's Bethany from Madeline Jean Antiques and Restoration. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to repurpose an old antique window and we're going to turn it into a mirror. Now this is super easy. We don't need to break the window panes and put in a new mirror. I'm going to show you how to do it with a spray. Yes, a spray. We're going to make this glass turn into a mirror with just a spray. It's so easy. Come with me and let's do this. Okay, first things first, let's talk about supplies. What are you going to need to turn your old window into a mirror? So the first thing, you need the product. The product, this spray, this magical spray that's gonna turn your window into a mirror. This spray is by Krylon. It is called Looking Glass. It looks like this. It's in a smaller can. This is only six ounces. I usually buy two spray bottles if I'm going to do, this is a pretty large window. I've got 12 window panes here, so I would get two cans if you have a larger window. If you have a smaller window that's like four panes, probably just one can will do. Where can you order this? You can order this from Amazon or you can find it at my favorite store, Hobby Lobby which by the way, my teenage son just got a part-time job there. I'm so excited because um, he gets a discount. Anyways, so it's called Krylon Looking Glass. This is what makes the old window glass turn into a mirror. So you absolutely have to have this, okay? So get yourself some of that. You're going to need glass cleaner. Um, I've used in the past, sometimes rubbing alcohol is really good for cleaning glass. It evaporates really fast. I also love this stuff. So I got some glass cleaner. You're gonna need some paper towels, and then you're also going to need some razor blades, razor blades, scrapers, whatever you prefer. I like these that are really wide. This is probably like a three or four inch wide razor scraper. These are great. So I'm going to preface this part, lead paint, lead paint. It's dangerous, we all know that. Old windows, it, they are notorious for having it. So please take every precaution when dealing with old windows, especially if the paint is chippy. What I usually try to do is I try to encapsulate the old paint. I usually either paint the frame over right here, the front part of the window, and then I put a top coat to seal it. If I like the natural chippiness, the patina of the old window, I at the very least um, seal it. So I've already sealed the front of this window. You can use different products like a poly, a polycrylic, a wax, anything just to kind of have it not chip any further. And if you do any scraping of windows, I don't do that, but please take every precaution in the world when it comes to lead paint. So I feel better now that I just did my little disclosure there. So we're gonna get started on how to turn this old window into a mirror. Ooh, also, oh, I forgot. I just bought this, this is pretty cool. I'm hoping this is gonna work for me. This is a laundry drying rack. I am tired of working on the floor a lot and my workbench is already kind of full of supplies. So I needed something that can fold up when I'm done using it, but also can keep something level and at like waist um, height. So I just, I'm not breaking my back. I'm getting older and <laughs> I'm tired of doing things on the floor. So I thought it's elevated. Um, that way I can place the window down flat and it's gonna be level and hopefully that'll help make this project easier for me. So get yourself a table, something to elevate um, the window because you need it to stay flat and level as you spray this stuff, okay? So let's get to the fun part, let's do it. Hey guys, I have my old window on my new contraption, my laundry drying rack, it's working great. I'm so excited. Um, I ordered mine on Amazon, so wow, I'm just so excited when things work out. Um, so what I'm noticing also already on the back of this window, there's some like dirty splotches, something sticky right here. I have no idea what that is. So this is where you're gonna wanna take your razor blade and you're just gonna wanna scrape and make sure, yeah, this is some type of residue, maybe a tape or something on the back of here. You're gonna wanna clean this, okay? You need to go, this is where it gets a little tedious. Every single window pane, 
you want to make sure it's really, really clean from dirt and debris. There might be some old little paint splat marks. You just want to get it as clean as possible, okay? You want to work with a really clean surface so the spray um, sticks to it. Um, if you leave something, it'll be highlighted on the other side and you don't want that. You want it as clean as possible. So you're going to go through and you're going to do every window pane. You're going to just scrape it, make sure it's clean of debris. Um, if you find that as you scrape, just leave it. And then what I do is I take a shop vac and then I suck up everything that I've kind of scraped to the side. That seems to be the easiest way for me to do this. And you just do this all over. So where you're going to be spraying the Krylon looking glass, that's what it's called, looking glass. You're applying it to the back side of the window. I've also used this product on a door, you know, like an antique door that has a window in it. Um, I have done that. I also did it on Flea Market Flip when I was on that show. Did you see it? I was on season nine, episode 11, and we took an old door that had um, glass in it, like a window pane, it was really pretty, an old red door, and it was called Mashup. So we had to take two separate furniture pieces, mash them up and make something. So we took an old desk, and we attached it to this red door, and we made a hallway tree, and I wanted to make a mirror, and I remember, saying to the people, like the craftsmen on Flea Market Flip, I was like, oh, I'm gonna make this into a mirror. And they're like, um, you don't have time to pop out the glass and put in a new mirror. I'm like, no, 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 I have this stuff. I'm gonna spray it. And they all were, I don't know, at that time, this was a few years ago, they had no clue that this stuff existed. So it was pretty cool to show them that. And maybe I'll throw up a picture here of what that looked like, um, our hallway tree. That was a pretty cool creation I was really sad to see that go. I need to make another one of those. Those are pretty cool. I actually could use one in my house right now, a hallway tree. But I turned it into a mirror because I was like, oh, and people are like running out the door, you know? Um, they usually like to check and make sure, you know, they look presentable, check your hair, see if you look okay, and like you needed a mirror. So that's what I did with that. So once, this is probably the hardest part, you guys, is cleaning, just making sure the back of your window panes are clean. Um, I would say this is probably the hardest part, if you want to call it that. These next steps, very, very easy. So I'm going to continue to do this. I had to go so upstairs right and get some goo gone. There are some sticky spots on my window. I don't know what the heck it is. I can't scrape it off, I'm just smearing it. So, I've got quite a few. I don't know what it is. Boom. I've got to lot the goopy spots. All right, so you're gonna run into that. Also, I've done some really, really large windows and then I ended up selling them to people and they, I did the whole looking glass thing where I made it into a mirror and they hung them up, you know, behind their couches, looks really sharp. With those certain mirrors, they were so old. The back of those particular windows, I had to like re them because the window panes were actually a little loose. So if you find that you're working with an old window and the window pane is loose, I would highly suggest securing it either with caulking or with silicone or something to just make sure that window pane stays in place. I'm lucky enough with this window, it's very solid, so I don't need to do that, but I just thought I would throw that out there as well. Oh, and another thing, if you end up wanting to hang your window up, a great um, little tip, get those felt pads. I've already put them on this window. I have a felt pad here, one here, and then three more at the bottom so that when you hang up your window and it's against your wall, it's not scraping your window. Um, and then I usually hang my window with the D rings. I have those already attached as well. So I usually kind of prep my piece. I do that stuff before I do the looking glass spray. That's just my preference. You can do it afterwards, but 
Just thought I would share those. I'm going to get this goopy stuff off now. And, oh yeah, that's taking care of it. Um, and I won't bore you with that because this is gonna take me a while to get all those For the next step, I'm going to use my glass cleaner and some paper towels, and I'm going to clean each one of these panes. I love this particular glass cleaner. I think it works really great. It's by Sprayway. It's glass cleaner. It says it's the world's best. I don't know if it's the world's best, but that's what it says. Kind of reminds me of the movie Elf, remember? World's Best Coffee. I love that movie. I can like, I get sucked in every single time that's on TV and I don't care what part is on that movie, I get sucked in. And now both my kids absolutely love that movie as well, so it's all good. World's best cup of coffee. This is the world's best glass cleaner. That's what it says. So I really like this stuff. It just seems to do the job. So I'm gonna take glass cleaner to this. This will highlight anything else that's left on here. And if there is, I'm gonna go back and scrape away and keep doing this until it looks as clean as I can possibly get it. Are you guys ready for the fun part? All right, getting my hair up. Shaking the can. I've already been shaking the Krylon looking glass can for about a minute. It says do it for like a, for a while. You know, you want to get it all mixed up. Okay, I lost my good working mask in my move somewhere. I had one really good mask, so I don't know where it's at. So I went upstairs in my son's room and I stole his Celtics mask. This is gonna have to do for right now, so don't judge me that I don't have like a heavy duty workshop mask. Um, this will do for right now. So this spray is a little stinky, beware of that. You're also going to be applying multiple, multiple coats. You're gonna be letting it dry in between coats. So let's just see how I apply it the first coat, okay? Like I said, everything has been cleaned as clean as it can be on the back side of this window. Now we're gonna apply the looking glass. side not on this side so don't freak out when you look at it you go what the heck is going on okay I'm applying really thin coats that's really important with this product you don't want to saturate the glass with it number one it won't dry well and then it'll like puddle up in certain areas I know this because I've done it so don't do that so really really thin coats and you let them dry completely in between your coats. So, I'm gonna keep going. that I did, it's still wet here a little bit in the corner, 
a little bit in the corner, but on the majority of the pane, it's already dry. The product dries very quickly, so that's good. You can complete a project pretty fast with this product. Um, I'm noticing the middle panes are slowly getting dry. You can watch it and you can watch it just slowly evaporate off. How many coats are you going to have to put on? I know I'm going to get that question a lot in the comment section. It all depends on how you're applying it. Usually, I'm going to say for me, probably between five and six thin coats. Again, it dries really fast, so don't freak out when I say five to six coats. Um, but it, it varies from project to project. How you can tell it's gotten to the point that you're happy with, check underneath. I always do this in between my coats. I check underneath and I'm like, okay, that's looking good. So you'll just have to check for yourself. That's why I think it's also important to get some sort of stand or table to put your window on so you can check your work underneath it's also a great way to check and see if you've missed any spots. As, as you keep applying more coats, um, the other side will get darker and darker. Right now, I can still see through to the other side. The more coats I put on, it's going to become um, less transparent, okay? So I'm going to let this dry, and then we're going to go on to the second coat, and we'll see together how many coats it's going to take to cover this window. This is pretty easy, you guys. With any project, you're gonna find that um, I do in my YouTube videos or anybody, prepping pieces is the most time consuming. The fun parts like painting, spraying, uh, those don't take much time at all. So if you prep properly, usually your product and your project will come out the way you want it to. But you gotta prep properly. And I took a lot of time cleaning the, these window panes, so just keep that in mind. All right, we're gonna let this dry and then we're gonna go on to coat number two. Okay, here's a close up after coat one. You can see here, this isn't dry yet. See how it's wet in the corners? It'll evaporate first in the center of the window pane and move out. And remember how I said how I can look through and I can still see underneath? That's how it looks after the first coat. Close up of coat number two. You can see the far panes there were the first ones that I sprayed. You can see it slowly evaporating. And these were the last ones that I sprayed. Notice how it's getting harder to see down through the window, the more coats we're gonna put on. So this is the second coat. Pretty cool how this stuff works, huh? Now remember, this is the back side of the window. This is not the reflective side, even though it kind of looks like it's happening. If we go underneath, that's gonna be our mirror side, okay? Hope this is making sense. So that gives you an idea how far six ounces of this product goes. There's not a lot in a can, it's pretty small, but I was able to get three full coats on this window. That's why I got two cans of the Krylon Looking Glass. So I'm gonna open up my second can and I'm gonna get started on the fourth coat here. Dry on the back side. 
kind of looks like tin foil. It's very metallic-y. Now, the mirror effect is going to happen on the underside, and we will see that when we flip it over, okay? But I want to give you guys a look. See, this is what your back side is going to look like. Now, keep this in mind. If you scratch this, it will come off. If you bump it, it can scratch easily. In the past, what I have done, if it's for a client, if I'm selling it for a customer, I will get a very thin piece of wood cut to size at Lowe's and I will attach it to the entire back to protect the mirror effect. Again, personal preference up to you. This one is for um, my home, so I'm just gonna be putting it up on a wall so I don't feel any need to protect it myself. But if it was going to a customer, if I was selling it to someone, I would definitely um, put a protective backing on it. Just know that it can be scratched if you don't protect the, the looking glass spray that you just sprayed on the back side of the window. Just keep that in mind. Okay, you guys, I flipped the window over and this is what it looks like. Isn't this stuff amazing? It's a mirror. All original glass, you can see, can you see how that window pane right there is wavy? That's how you know it's the original glass. Antique glass has a wave to it. Look how amazing this product works and you just spray it on. Now, do I recommend this is the type of mirror that you would do your makeup in or pluck your eyebrows? No, it's strictly for decorative purposes. Um, I mean, yeah, you can see your reflection in it. Um, it gives a nice antiqued, aged, mirrored look to it. It's not perfect. It's not supposed to be um, crisp, sharp, and clear, but it definitely gives off an amazing reflective surface. And I think it does this window justice. Look at that. I think it looks so cool with that chippiness, the original paint. I think this product is just so cool. So again, it's Krylon looking glass. You can find it on Amazon. You can find it on Hobby Lobby at their store. Um, go check it out. If you guys have any questions regarding this tutorial, please drop your questions in the comment section. I do a fairly good job of answering questions in a timely manner. If you guys like this video, give it a like, share it. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do. That subscribe button is going to be in the lower right hand corner. It's a red button and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to repurpose an old window into a mirror. Until next time you guys, see ya!